live calls and live readings to get themselves more familiar and into the groove. And the other and, and, thing... And I tell you, I just jumped right in, and that, that's the way I learned, and I think it's a beautiful idea. Thank you, yeah. And and I think it is because they get they seem to get left out of a lot, you know. And I want to help lift people and you know build a stronger community, you know. And speaking of community, I'm also going to be launching in February a second show twice a month on Fridays, that is going to be community events. I know a lot of people all over the internet that have classes and courses, whether it's bone reading and tarot reading or tea reading or conjure classes and classes on magic or making lamps. So this show is specifically going to be set just to give a rundown of all the things happening in the community and how to get a hold of the people that are putting on these different events, you know. Speaking of events, April, don't forget the Big Apple Conjure Gala. Get a hold of Cambisa. Candelo, he's going to be running that one. And that's going to be awesome. He's got some very good talent. You know. He's, on your, he's online right now, right? Yes, he is. Okay. You know, he, he is an awesome person, and he actually has one of the longest running spiritual shows on the internet. Love that, man. You know, so tell us some other things because I know you got some other things that you're not uh, speaking about yet. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> well, I know you've got the site coming, but you it's know, like... your home, your whole big vision, you know, for your site ties more into just that site. You know, um, because I also see a more of a teaching platform too, or a you know area either on your site or on your virtual mystic group dedicated to educating and helping people get to that level where if they want to be a reader on your your new platform, that. that they'll actually be able to have There's something. something else I would like to also have a platform of people that like to do hands-on healing work um, because I know so many people that do hands-on energy work um, that I'd like to have that platform as well, which may turn out to be a sister site in some way, but um, I like that idea a lot. Well, I've already seen it coming, you know, as kind of like a yeah, mentorship program for people that don't have the experience yet but would like to slowly break into the divination you know business itself and I charles i really i really nope, go ahead. you know that from the from where i've been to where i am the amount of people that have grown into acceptance of spiritual practice is just exponential i mean it's just blowing up and, and i'd like to keep encouraging that because I think it unifies us to, and and it's a need that we have is to lift each other up through spirit. You know, so it's all about community. More more you know, effective. and lifting community up and giving back. You know, yeah. If you notice on my Facebook, I do a whole lot of promoting. I promote a lot of people, a lot of their services. So these are people I've known for you know a number of years that I trust, yeah. and I give back to the communities that have given me so much, you know, because I know exactly where all of my stuff comes from, you know, Charles Porterfield just popped it up the, or I should say just popped the website for big apple conjure gala, two zero one eight dot com. So if you're interested in learning anything about conjure, you know, check this out at big apple conjure, 2018.com. And I know virtualmystics.com, um, you said it's going to be launching in about two weeks. Uh, I just did some testing this week. So, yes, I would say two weeks. Just look for us first week of February. Let's just put it that way. That'll, it'll put you up by then. Virtualmystics.com. And then your virtual mm-hmm. mystics group, they can just look for virtual mystics and find yeah, your... If you, if you, if you uh, do the Facebook 
Our Facebook group, Virtual Mystics, right now is a private group. Uh, you just you just click on it, ask to join. There's like three questions, fill it up. And then there's also a public page, which is Virtual Mystics Services and Creations, where you can post anything that you've created, divination tools, you can promote your services. Our Virtual Mystics Facebook page that's private is for us to do practice work and uh, and get into to a community with like-minded people that um, and practice our skills. Um, but there's a services page, which is for ser for promoting your services. And I encourage everyone that does readings or services to do that. And once virtualmystics.com goes up, that's probably uh, one of the places I will send people to. And, you know, and I like the idea that you have that whole services group, you know, because you allow pretty much anybody that joins to list their services, yeah. you know, whether it's cards, you know, some... Uh, deck that they made, an event that's going on, you know, their personal reading website, you know, people can go there and actually look for all these people. And, right. you know, the Divination Table radio show also has its own website, thedivinationtable.com. And every week after a special guest appears, there will be a listing underneath the menu on the top that says contact a reader for each reader and it will only show readers that have been on this show so if people are interested in getting a hold of these readers for reading spiritual work conjure lamps anything of that nature as the show progresses i'm going to be adding different um, categories some people Good. will be in multiple categories. Some people will just be in one, depending on what it is that they offer. But people will be able to go to the divinationtable.com and click on contact a reader. And all of my special guests get free listings. So they automatically will get that, oh, that free advertising for their services, links to how to contact them, whether it's through Facebook, website, telephone, email, all of that info will be added into their profile so that people can keep coming back to the divination table .com. Okay. You know, so before the show is over, I'm also going to ask you if you could, and actually if you might want to do this now, how can listeners get a hold of you? Um, Melanie Mitchell is my name. <laughs> <laughs> you can reach me on Facebook. Just message me. Uh, Virtual Mystics Creations and Services also on Facebook. Um, my Instagram, I think, is... Oh, my gosh. There's a Virtual Mystics Instagram. There's a Melanie Instagram. We have... I think there's my LinkedIn is all... I mean, I think my Twitter's the same, Virtual Mystics. We have a Virtual Mystics Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. So that, those are all or virtualmystics at gmail.com if you feel like emailing me with a question. Those are the best ways to get a hold of me. I mean, I'm constantly on Facebook because I run a group there, so the, the public page or the or my personal page, either way. And you, also, and you offer pages, paid right? readings? Um, do you charge by the minute, charge by the amount of time, the particular type of reading? You know, yeah, I, I mostly do charge by blocks of time. It just seems to me that it works easier that way for someone. And, and I, you know, I've done Skype readings. I've done email readings. I can do phone readings. Um, whatever works best for what's needed at the time. Yeah, so now, I mean, granted, I, I, it's not my primary source of income. I am a graphic artist, but uh, right, I'm going to start focusing on virtualmystics.com, and, and that's where you can find me as a reader. I read on Keen now. I'm also Mermaiden is my pen name on my professional site. So I use the name Mermaiden because it fits. I live, I'm a Pisces and I live by the ocean. So it's a nice little moniker for me. And, and, I'm on does, Keen. and it does fit though. Yeah, it also voices. yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. You know. So I'm, is there uh, anything I'm else you would like to tell our readers to help, you know, lift them, give them, you know, reassurances, you know, point them in right directions to become better readers, you know, any tips or tricks that you have? Right. Don't, don't, sometimes messages that you receive 
are not meant for you, so they're not supposed to make sense. So trust yourself and trust what you hear and trust what you're being told to say. Um, also, you can be negative, you can be positive, but you always need to be honest. Um, I feel like you don't, don't set yourself up to have to go back and try to figure out anything. Just be straight up and be yourself, uh, but be kind, but be honest. Uh, and don't be, it, and when you first get started, there's a sense for me, opening up to my friends and family was a little bit scary, but ultimately holding back was scarier because then I was not happy. So just trust yourself, keep practicing, uh, be open to, be open to learning and being open to finding your real spiritual self. There will be some times when you feel overwhelmed by it but there's a reason for that and you'll get through it to the next level and I agree and I think and, people also have to get out of their own headspace you know I right. had a uh, um, bone session with uh, Ambrosine Laguerre you know who was doing a one-on-one -on -one to teach me you know more on how to read the bones and one of my biggest issues is I'm very linear I can't get out of my own way you know, I think in a certain <laughs> pattern, you know, I Which look at certain, <laughs> I'm a Scorpio, yeah. you know, I'm either black or white. I'm either on the fence or off the fence. There's nothing in between. And for me, my yeah. biggest issue is getting out of my own way and just allowing whatever messages are coming through to come through. I think it's not, I don't think that's, you know, and I don't want to put, put you in a position or anything, but I don't think that's. Uh, unheard of. I don't think that's super unique. I think a lot of people get there. And, and I think it's a part of, you know, the human condition as well. It's like, there's just sometimes you're like, what the heck does that mean? You know, and should I really say that out loud? But just get out of the way and, and, and allow the things to be, you know, you're meant to give a message to someone who's seeking guidance. Most times when people come to you, they are in despair. And it's not for us to lecture them. It's for us to educate them. It's for us to bring their information back to them sometimes. And they're just some things they need to hear. And you can do that without shaming. And you can do that without scolding. You can do that in a way that makes them see that spirit that started. Because those thoughts start from a young age. These people that are asking these questions, sometimes these problems start at a young age. So you, don't want to, you want, kind of want to address them like it's an inner child. And, and bring that back to them. It's your life. It's your choice. It's your responsibility. It's this is the spirit is telling you whatever message comes, you're capable, you know, and just keep going forward, man. Right. And I think it's important, it you know, it's that as readers and as spiritual people, that we look at everything from a point of non judgment. You know, our job right. is not to judge somebody not to put them down, you know, it's to say, look, let me see what I can do to help you. Let me see about the information right. I can give you that can help get you out of the rut. I don't care what it is that you've done. I don't care where you've exactly. been, how you got there. That's not what I'm here for. And right. as long as we can take ourselves out of that from a personal level, because we may not agree with everything that, you know, people do in life. I mean, it's, well, it's a fact. Happen. I'm not going to agree with everyone. I'm just right. not. But, but I don't allow that to, to be my, fo I don't allow that to be my barometer. You know, right. And as long as we remember that, then, right. you know, we're in good standings because we can turn around and give them non-judgmental information and mm -hmm. say, look, this is what I think that you need to do to resolve the issue that you're having. You know, whether you, I mean, if you're a spiritual worker, they may want to do a bath. They may need to do a ritual. They may need to do a cleansing. Yeah. If if you're right. doing a non-spiritual reading, you know, you're drawing upon life knowledge, things that you have done through, things that, you know, you can say, well, you know what, I've been through the same thing. Maybe these are some things that are going to help this person. Yeah. You know, exactly. and draw upon what you know. And the most important thing, if you have absolutely no idea how to help this person, refer them to somebody who can. Because there's absolutely. nothing worse than, you know, doing a reading for somebody and saying, well, I know I can't do anything to help them. I'm just going to take their money. No. 
let's go ahead and yeah. push them over to somebody that specializes